So I'm showing you this window molding here and what we did. So we filled in these holes, you can see with some spackle, waited for it to dry and then sanded it down. Did a pretty good job on this one. Here's a spot where I did not do such a good job. So one of the mistakes I made was, first of all, you never want to use a sanding block on window trim when you have all these different planes here, right? So this beveled molding has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different planes I'm going to sand. So you can tell this is clearly not the time to use a rectangular sanding block like this, because what's going to happen is you're putting pressure unevenly on the different levels. And what you're going to get is you're going to scrape the paint off just like I did here. So the only right way to do it, and this is going to take you forever, but if you want it to come out right, this is what you got to do. Take a piece of sandpaper I'm using 120 grit, but anything between 100 and 150 is good for this application. You want to fold it over once and twice, and then you've got to treat every one of these planes like a different surface that it is. So if I want to sand this whole thing, I'm going to first come here, go up and down, then I'm going to come here, up and down, then I'm going to get in this crevice, up and down. And then I'm going to do the same thing, treating each one of these planes, sanding it on a flat surface, and you're going to avoid mistakes like this.